All right. In this video, we're going to convert some CAD files over to a shape file in which we can use. And more specifically, we're going to be uh, converting this uh, centerline of road feature to a shape file. And the first thing I did was bring in the CAD file, which is actually pretty easy. You can just drag and drop those in. Next thing you want to do is you want to locate the object you're looking for. Um, this particular CAD file had a lot of features and layers in it. Um, and so I've already gone through and I know which ones I need. Um, so in here we are looking for, uh, luckily these were all named pretty good. So I'm looking for a new road layer. The easiest way to do this is to uh, create a definition query and isolate that road layer. Um, there's multiple ways of doing this. We can select by attribute or select by layer. But I always find this a little bit easier, like coming in here and building my own uh, query. So in this case, we're looking for the uh, the one that has the layer feature. We're going to set that layer is equal to new roads. You can click unique values, and this will actually pop up a list of all the values that are in there. We don't have that many, so it's pretty easy to pop it up and then double tap it. I like to verify it, make sure there's no issues. These are pretty simple, shouldn't. And then the only thing that shows up now in this definition query is our road. Um, you can see here, we'll go ahead and zoom to that complete layer. Some other stuff in here too. Uh, let's see if I can clean this area up a little bit. Uh, let's see what this orange. All right. Well, mm -hmm. okay. We got a little bit cleaner now. And blue are all the parcels. The, the kind of yellow brownish line is our roads that we are extracting out. Next one we can do is we can go to uh, selection. Select all. This will go through and it'll select our road layer. Uh, the next thing we can do is we can come down to data and export data. And this will take out, take the stuff out of the shape file, or we take the stuff out of the CAD file and put it into a shape file that we can use. Um, Want to make sure this is selected features and not all the features in there. Uh, we can use this layer source data, um, and then we just need to choose a location. I'm going to put everything in this directory called shape. And I'm just going to call this uh, road CL for road center line. We can hit OK. Do you want to uh, include or add the exported information to the map? And say yes. And then we can come back and turn all CAD files off. And there we have our new road center line is in there. And this road is actually this uh, CAD file. Um, like many CAD files, has some things in there that we do not want. So there's a couple of different ways we can actually edit this. We can extend these lines together. We can connect them up. Um, we can extend this line over to meet up with the existing road layer. Uh, what we can do is we'll go into a edit session, start editing. And we can come down here, and so we definitely want to extend this out to here. The thing we want to do now is we want to take out these do not need those. So we come down to let's just get my toolbar. We'll use this one a little later on, possibly. Come down here. We just want to select our little tick marks, not the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna make sure I have everything deselected because I only want to be selecting <coughs> that toolbar. Uh, let's see, my screen capture software is changing my resolutions. So I'm missing a couple things here, so I've come by uh, selection. We'll just clear selected features and I'm going to select that guy. You can just hit delete. You don't want those tick marks in there. I'm going to just go through the whole thing and I'm going to take all these little, little tick marks out and clean things up. I don't want that. So, the next thing is we're going to uh, connect these lines up here. These are pretty straight lines, so we're just going to go ahead and double click them. Then we can grab the node and just connect up to the next one. We'll come up to the top up here and do the same thing with this one. 
and there, there we have. Once we have everything the way we wanted it in the edit session, um, oh, let's go ahead and add this uh, little guy here. We'll come up here and hit save first, save edits. And there's a couple different ways we can either extend using the advanced tools or we can uh, create another section and add on to it. I'm going to go ahead and a, create another section. Come up here to create a feature. Um, if your template is in here, um, if you have a template in here, you can go ahead and cl click here. If not, you can come up to the organized templates. Um, this is a, a list of the available editable layers. You can actually add that. Um, you can add it into here. Mine's already in there, so I'm not going to worry about that. Come up here to Road Features. I'm going to click the edge to snap to it. And then just to extend this straight across, I'm going to go ahead and say, I want to make this new line parallel to this existing line that it's coming off of. And you just snap to the edge of the existing street. And finish sketch. And and that's it for our road layer. Next thing you want to do is uh, we'll go ahead and zoom to this entire layer. Make sure there's nothing obvious that's sticking out. And then come down and editor and stop editing. You want to save? Yes. Now uh, you should have a new layer uh, that has the roads in it. Um, this particular subdivision plan uh, was a CAD file. I exported them out to a shape file.